Good morning, my advanced choir friends. I am excited that you are joining me again this year. Uh, things will look a little, little bit different if you're with me in the spring. We will be doing more live instruction and learning songs uh, with the goal that we will be able to teach uh, and learn songs to be able to present a virtual concert in the end of the fall quarter. Here is our schedule for second period. At 9.05, you need to complete the Google form for attendance. You will have 10 minutes to complete it. So by 9.15, it should be done um, so that I can give you full credit for that assignment. Between 9.15 and uh, 9.40, you need to complete it. If you are don't complete it by 9.40, then you will be marked absent for a second period even if you show up at the, in the uh, Google Classroom live instruction. During that time, you'll also have assignments on Google Classroom to work on. And then we will start at 940 to do live instruction uh, with your Chromebooks. And at uh, after 1010, you will be able to go back and complete any assignments that you need to complete on Google Classroom for the day. You need to be prepared that our scheduled time that I just gave you will probably change, especially on Wednesday, because we have that shorter time. I'm not sure exactly what that will look like, but I will update you as needed. So be in the habit of checking your Google Classroom to see what the schedule is for live instruction and what the assignments that you have for that day that you need to complete. Um, the work that is on Google Classroom, some of it will need to be completed before we do our live instruction. So just be aware and pay attention to that. There also will be a choir Google site that you can access to keep track of where things are. The syllabus for this uh, virtual time is on a Google form. So you have to fill it out and your parent needs to fill it out for you to receive credit so that I know you know what to do. Um, I will send that link out to your school email and I will send it to the email your parents have in Aries. If the email that they have in Aries is not correct, you will probably have to help them out so they can have access to that Google. Things to remember during live instruction, plug in your Chromebook, charge it, and have it ready. Um, I am not sure that we will be able to do the instruction that I'm doing on your phone like you did with Zoom or with Google Meet. So I'm not positive because um, I plan on using Loxy. So we will figure it out as we go. But if you can use your Chromebooks, that would just eliminate some of the issues that we have. Um, find a quiet area because you will need to be able to sing and you will need to be able to talk during our live instruction. So if you're doing warm ups and somebody is sleeping really close to you, they might be annoyed at that. So find a quiet spot. When I was home during uh, the fall time, I was often in my closet because that was the quietest place in my house. And usually people didn't interrupt me there. So find that place where you can be uninterrupted and uh, you can talk and sing and people won't go, what are you doing? Um, make sure you're focused during the live instruction. Put away your phone, start off the TV so that you can, for that 30 minutes, you're with me and you're focused. Um, this is choir. You're an advanced choir. You know we will sing every day. And just be patient with all of us. This is a learning experience and there's a lot of technical difficulties that will happen. You're very very excited for the school year and I really hope that you can join us and be excited as well. Um, I look forward to seeing you at 1010. I'm excited to seeing you at 1010 today.